How fun was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple? Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it... Alfheim. It's been so long. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Thimblewinter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimblewinter. The living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know, and music. The song of the sands, they call it. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but... Dark Elves get on best they can. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just putting on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Ah, very well. Did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut no! from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Very clever. Right side, brother! Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about... Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who bring the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphonse. Is that a bomb? Us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, theirs. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. 
Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. <laughs> Solid Light, yes. Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Light Elves, watch out! on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <sighs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. Ah, a 
curious mind. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to protect the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. We just like to be thorough. By all means. Ugh. They smell awful. Anything interesting to say? Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> Mumir, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. The Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? Not a great idea. Oh, there, friends, salutations. We mean you no harm. He's here. Get back. Fighting. Dark Elves want the souls in the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. 
I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. It worked. Thanks, dear. My pleasure. Glad we explored. Back to it then. Why not simply hold it in place? You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. 
on the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. We can continue up this way. Father, over here. <laughs> <laughs> 